Psalm 46. I want us to jump in at verse 10, because the first line of Psalm 46, verse 10, uh, is a line that's very familiar to me. Be still and know that I am God. This was printed uh, on a kind of a sign at the front of the church where I grew up. Very simple and uh, maybe very appropriate as we would sit quietly, you know, waiting for the service to begin. Be still and know that I am God. But what's that verse talking about? It kind of gave the impression of um, some contemplative kind of uh, psalm writer sitting under a tree and just, you know, having a quiet day, a little bit of a retreat from normal life. But then I opened my Bible and uh, read it in its context. The context matters. When you're reading anything, any detail always makes sense in context. It's not just kind of random thought. And so look at the context of the line here, verse 10 immediate context. He makes wars to cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. And then I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. This is a a global situation, not a, a pleasant little under a tree situation. This is a global situation and it's a martial, a war situation. God is going to bring an end to the fighting and the tumultuous battling, the raging of the nations. In fact, look at some of the details uh, earlier on in the psalm. Verses two and three, we will not fear though the earth gives way, though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble at its swelling. This is descriptive of real uh, kind of upheaval, right? A global upheaval. Verse six, the nations rage, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The nations raging is kind of like a Psalm 2 thought, isn't it? The earth melting is like a Micah 1 sort of an idea. Uh, Verse 9 here, he makes wars cease to the end of the earth. We've read this already. He breaks the bow, shatters the spear, burns the chariots with fire. This psalm is a psalm that is in the speaking into the midst of tumultuous times. The kind of times maybe that we live in when the world is uh, slightly mad, when things just seem to be out of control and everyone seems to be kind of fighting everyone. Difficult times. So what is God saying? What is the Psalm saying? That one line that we started with, be still and know that I am God. Is it simply kind of a declaration to the nations that they need to stop from their fighting, stop from their battling with one another and raging against heaven and and on earth, and they need to be still and recognize who is in charge. It's a very real sense in which that is the case. It's almost like Jesus standing up in the boat and, and commanding, rebuking the storm, peace, be still, bringing a calm in the midst of waters roaring and foaming. There is that sense, definitely. It's there, but what about us? Where's the message for us in that? I suppose we can be kind of restless and uh, kind of all worked up in the midst of everything. And there's a sense in which it's right for us to take the rebuke. But I don't think Psalm 46 is really a rebuke to us. It's a comfort. Look at one more theme that weaves its way through from beginning to end. Verse one, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. God is in the midst of her. This is verse five, speaking of Jerusalem, uh, where God dwells or uh, looking forward to when God will dwell and rule from there. God is in the midst of her. She shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. Verse seven, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of angel armies, he is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And that's then repeated in verse 11. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. And so all the way through, the message that's coming through this psalm is a message of hope for us, right? He is with us. He is with his people. And so the nations need to calm down. They need to be still and know that he is God. But we too, in the midst of all that's going on, we can be still. We can know that he is God. And that really is a reason to worship. Read Psalm 46, 
share it with others. It's a really appropriate psalm for difficult days. Let's share it with one another and draw comfort from it. Thank you.